Next, if we, it's such an honor to have our chief guest, Dr. Bernardo Javel Quinto, Professor Business Ethics, member Bretton Woods Committee to edu educate us on tools to obtain goals for UN SDG. Dr. Jawal Quinto, economist, was born in New York City, USA, and currently an advisor to countries, board of directors, and CEOs worldwide. He has the expertise in business development and provides advisory services to companies wishing to do business in Chile. Mr. Jawal Quinto has been associated with companies such as the World Bank, ISC, Embassy of Chile in the US, and also uh, Henkel Lechtel. Let's welcome Dr. Jawal Quinto to share his education and experience with us over here. Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, this opportunity. And uh, I, I would like to uh, uh, join with all the, the other speakers. Uh, I agree 100% uh, with them. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, I, I had a, a lot of experience uh, working with the 17 goals uh, of, of the United Nations. And uh, what what I would say uh, to to the people is that uh, I, I took this citation from uh, Carl Sagan, uh, which uh, he was a great uh, astrophysical person, and uh, he said there is no plan B, and there is there is no planet B. In uh, uh, our obscurity, in all the vast vastness of a uh, of the universe, there's no hint that help will come from somewhere else to save us from ourselves. We need to help ourselves to save our planet. So, uh, saying that, uh, I would I would. Uh, I took the time to uh, try to concentrate in, in the main topics and the tools that we require to work in the human capital, which is the most important uh, asset of any anything. If, if we don't invest in, 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 in human capital, I, I would say that uh, uh, social justice and freedom uh, is the supreme value of every person and freedom is essential for economic prosperity in any society in the world and uh, social and human development as well because if we do not have freedom we, we do not have development understanding this uh, recognition uh, i have received this opportunity to be and talk about the 17 goals of the united nations First of all, uh, for the fight uh, against social inequality, climate change, women empowerment, uh, youth em uh, employment, incentive and promotion of peace through education. Education, I think we have to really think that without education, we, we have nothing else. Therefore, uh, all issues it must be addressed from all the sectors of society and we can build a better and more sustainable society with more equity and better opportunities to all of us. The first question that rise to my mind would be how uh, we can do this. How, how, we, how we can achieve to, to get all the people talking in the same language and with the same goals. It's difficult because, first of all, I mean, as we all know, we, we uh, reach to the 8 billion people, you know, as a you know, society, and uh, the world is, is, a, is a completely in crisis today with inflation, economic issues, uh, political, and and people is not really agreeing and advancing in anything so how how do we do this that we are proposing and and i agree with all the speakers before me uh, 
for instance, in, here in in Latin America, where where I I am, you know, I I I am from the United States, but I work in Latin America because we have you know fifty one percent of the the society in that lives under the line of poverty. Uh, we we would like to, and we have been working to launch uh, in orbit a satellite that can signal and carry a, a, a Wi-Fi signal to all the people that uh, do not have access to, to Wi-Fi. Why? Because this is being done in Asia and in Africa. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, we lack one uh, in Latin America. And Latin America, for instance, you know, many countries could take the lead because we can reach millions of people in, in where commercial satellites do not send Wi-Fi free to poor people. Therefore, if we do not have Wi-Fi for poor people, which is the tool that today the, the pandemic made us, to take an advance uh, and move forward to integrate technology in everything. People are working at home. People are, are understanding that they can uh, contaminate less. What we are not prepared is exactly to uh, the most important issue, which is getting education through internet and to get through internet we need to have satellites that send free signal to people so volume the volume of people that do not have access to that they can have this opportunity this as i mentioned as has been as been done in in asia in africa and we would like to do it here in Latin America. We are in conversations with companies. And uh, uh, the other issue that is extremely important is that we, we have a big problem in providing drinking water and irrigation for areas that are desertified by natural disaster. Just, just think uh, the global society necessity, there's no water, there is no life. The third social uh, issue is a uh, social justice. If we do not have peace, as we should have, uh, uh, many people all over the world uh, does not have any support to take initiative in, in social justice. The, this role is, is extremely important that universities, institutions, and organizations, uh, they can help to develop socially and economic education centers to give and get closer to, the, to people. If we do not get closer to the people, uh, we cannot have and give these tools to to people we are creating also uh, institutions and in educations uh, which are uh, we call them a, a social entrepreneurship which uh, centers that uh, all the profits that the company makes reinvest the money in the company so everybody benefits in the company and that it has to be taught uh, uh, in a certain way, and we cannot be always uh, be so greedy that, uh, like, what are the teachings of a, a Nobel Peace Prize in Chicago at the Chicago University, in which they want to economically maximize, uh, you know, profit, minimum investment, and a. a a reduction of cost that it's is terrible for our society because we don't we don't do things well we do we do everything you know a halfway 
and and if we do not invest money in people we definitely we don't uh, have the access to give the people the opportunity to dream that's what i call the lost generation because the lost generation means that we have people that before the pandemic started losing faith that they will be somebody someday i speak this you know because working at the world bank i could go i could i was able to go to africa to many different countries and we we saw that there there was no hope people they they, they didn't have faith they would never go anywhere in their life so what we have to do is facilitate have a dialogue with all the development people so we we can no longer ignore these most important issues that i'm mentioning in this uh, in in this uh, uh, beautiful uh, effort and and summit that i was invited so we have to give them back to the poor uh, what belongs to them in which is uh, simply uh, they cannot live under welfare all the time we need to give them the tools so they can go and fish and that is not being done i i think that if we if we work uh, i think with peace with love solidarity and a moral duty all of us that we cannot ignore the model that we need to build um, among all of us is to support a people so in all over the world they can we can all be thinking in the same manner teaching them to how to uh, create jobs See, if they create jobs they will be able to sustain themselves and their families and this is being done in many countries in the world what i'm saying is no nothing new it's something that is not getting spread because it doesn't it is not it's not a, an important new politics today they they like to have you know ignorant people they like to have poor people because they will gain you know votes promising thousands of things to people but they never they never accomplish anything and that's why people today if you see most of the countries they're rising because they are they are very upset with the system that we are giving them so it's our responsibility to give them the tools so they can have a future for them and it's important for us as well to leave a legacy for the generations that are coming so a uh, i i think in the eyes of all all the people if we can provide this tool to to the people so we can reduce unemployment if we can in, incentive a uh, value added innovation investing in all these people that can have their own business social entrepreneurship it's it's a we we understand very well entrepreneurship but the social part is the one that we always left apart because we we care about profit that's all that we have been taught along our lives so what we have to teach them is this little you know word that is says social and social means that we have to do one step more so we can invest in our society so we all benefits the company benefits the community benefits we do something social for the rest of the people and the country and the entire humanity will uh, have this in in their minds the word you know social entrepreneurship and uh, well i i think uh, uh, i don't want to go over the 15 minutes uh, i 
So I I must uh, I must say that the the future of humanity is in, is uh, in in our hands, not only in you know in the governments uh, or big egos of uh, you know these multimillionaire people that are doing a lot of things, but they they only satisfy themselves, uh, and it is in 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 our hands to do the good to citizens and the ability to or organize our humbly conviction and worthily in the process with our heart love and uh, there there we shouldn't see homeless people people that uh, we should see also people with uh, decent jobs workers with their rights a uh, we cannot exclude uh, people that are invisible to, to the governments because they do not exist. We need to take care of the people and in, and not, you know, the government, you know, take advantage of people. We are here to be servants of humanity. So uh, I I would I would say that uh, we have to see how we can uh, take advantage of this summit, as I I, I said uh, several times. Uh, we not we cannot uh, uh, we cannot not talk about the the elderly because uh, they they were the ones that gave us life. We have to take care of them. And in most of the countries in the world, nobody cares about their mother, their fathers. And uh, finally, uh, there's so much abundance in, in, our, in our planet that uh, I would say that the style triumphs over substance temporarily, but ultimately the substance would always have the last word, and the last word is social entrepreneurship by the education, because that is the solution. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Bernardo Javal Quinto, for being our chief guest today at the Global Sustainable Development Summit 2022. And really, a lot of insights learned from you today. Thanks once again. Now we have...